Hey guys, it is Saturday, January, what, I don't even know what day it is, January 6th. It's quite chilly outside today, we've got a lot of snow this week. I am on my way to go get um, a rebase, and I had a horrible time with my nails last time. I want to ask her why this could have happened. Like three days after I got them done, they started all like peeling back. Like I could touch one on the end, and it would like pop off of like the the back part. If that makes sense, like lift up. So I had to buy like a couple fake ones to like hold me over, and I had to constantly glue them back down. It was the weirdest thing. And I am very excited to get these fixed because it's been driving me absolutely insane. So we didn't vlog as much this week and I wanted to kind of just talk to you guys about something. Um, in vlog December, I had so much fun vlogging every day. It was really, really fun, don't get me wrong. But I don't think daily vlogging is my thing. It is really exhausting. Josh just can't do it, like it's too much for him. So we were thinking like, how can we make our vlog channel look successful, but also still like maintain some privacy and um, you know, still have time where we're not on camera or days where we don't want to film. And I know I've talked about this before, like same thoughts over and over again, I know, but not everyone uh, has seen all of the vlogs. So I wanted to kind of explain it. I think I'm gonna switch to anywhere from two to four vlogs a week and make them a little better. Like kind of put more effort into editing them and stuff. The vlogs will be obviously better, you know, quality over quantity, and I will still get some time and Josh will get time off his camera because he, I mean, he likes vlogging, he really does, but he's like, it's just not something I would want to do every day. And I totally get that, I'm sure most of you do too. And we've seen so many YouTubers' relationships just fail because they try to vlog every day. And it's just not, it's not a good idea. It really isn't a good idea. It's not natural to be on camera every day. I mean, for those that do it, like good for them, but <clears throat> I can't. So expect less vlogs, but hopefully there'll be better vlogs. Um, that's my goal. Just got done my nails. Look how pretty that color is. She did work. I have the best nail tech ever though. She's so good. Really sad because she's moving to North Carolina. So I have to find someone else, but she always does a good job. Josh has had Bernie on the leash in the house today because we have no longer, we don't know what to do. Check out what he can do now. You know how we used to like be able to put him in this area? and like block it off. He now has figured out how to jump right over it. I don't know if he'll do it with his collar on, but watch this, he'll, he'll get it. He just keeps doing it until eventually, I don't know if he can do it with the harness on though. Okay, watch this. Right over it, just clears it. He doesn't like to jump off of stuff. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't like to jump off things. That's probably good, his legs are still like developing. Hopefully we will get to the point where he's more house trained and doesn't eat everything. And we can just, you know, let him go free. Cannot figure out how to get down. Oh, oh no, oh no. The other day Josh had him in the bathroom and he started chewing on one of these and he pulled the cap off and ate it. And obviously it passed, he's fine, but. Going for a walk. With my favorite little pup. Oh, nice song. His name is Bernie. Oh my gosh, he has little icicles on him. Come here. 
You're cute in the snow. Oh my God, I got so many cute pictures for his Instagram. You guys have to be following him on Instagram. I'll put it in the description. So Josh is gonna shower with him. I've already showered. He hasn't had a bath since Christmas and he clearly needs to melt all this snow off. <laughs> Josh and I had planned on going on a little dinner and movie date tonight and seeing this, what was the movie we were gonna see? Why Him. Why Him. With uh, Brian Cranston and- Who we love. I don't know why. He's from the Breaking Bad. Brian Cranston. Breaking Bad. The, the Breaking Bad. James Franco. But I did not buy the tickets in time. <laughs> so it's, it's a theater where you get to pick your seats beforehand and they're like the comfy chairs and <laughs> You just sound so funny. Yeah. You're like so upset. It's such a first world problem. No, yeah, we were trying front, to book it. It was and, front row or nothing, so. We're and like, I can't do like very yeah, front row. I, I won't. Like I won't row. be able to. It's like hurts your neck. Like a neck and my eyes. I like can't. No. no. We're going to Bonefish Grill. We're gonna have dinner. Josh and I always get the Bang Bang trip here. I'm sure there are so many vlogs where we've gone to Bonefish. It's like unbelievable. So like people are like, oh my god, all they do is go to Bonefish. <laughs> It's like our favorite restaurant for sure. And look how cute the Moscow Mule is. It's like little pieces of candy ginger in it. I think that's adorable. So we're going to the P.O. Box. It's obviously closed at the post office. It's Saturday night, but you can still go in like the area where they have the P.O. Boxes, hoping to get a package um, from one, our, one of our subscribers in Australia, John, who told me that he's sending us a I think it was, he's called it like an Australian welcome package. So I really want to see what it is. It's this one. Yeah. Oh wow, lots no of letters. Oh my gosh, so many Christmas cards. Thanks, fam. Oh, uh, bummer. Oh. Slip. Oh yeah, it's from yeah. Australia. Okay. No worries, John. If you're watching, oh, I'll come back here when they're open and Today I'll be too. able to get it. I have to bring this up to the front. So we left Tucker and Lily sleeping on this blanket when we left, and when we came home, they were still on the blanket in the same position. Really? So sweet, you guys. I got like a bunch of Christmas cards from you guys, and this one is from Gretchen, Heidi, and Gomez, which I'm guessing Heidi and Gomez are your two bunnies. How cute. Well, a whole nice thing. She sent a Starbucks card. That's so nice, girl. Like, thank you so much. I don't think I've ever been sent like anything before, like a Starbucks card. Or, that's so, so nice. Like, you totally did not have to do that. Hi, Burns. Okay, so then... I also got this cute one. This one is from Vicky, and she says 2016 equals by Felicia. <laughs> it's funny. Got this one, nice Winnie the Pooh one. This is from Angie. Thanks, Angie. I always love getting cards from you guys. It's like it's so fun. And this really cute reindeer card from Natalie. This one has a cat. Ian, Alexis, George, Fred, and Bob. So are George, Fred, and Bob all different? Oh yeah, it isn't the same cat. They there's three different cats on here. Oh, wow. They just all have darker faces. Those are great pictures, especially this one. <laughs> I it love like it. A little, like, half mustard. Guys, I collect, like, letters and stuff. Like, I keep all the letters and cards that you guys send. Um, so if you ever want to send, like, a picture of your pet or, like, a picture of you, I always love it because I feel like it connects me more with you guys. So I kind of have yeah, a better idea of who my audience is. It's so much fun. I love getting I love getting mail from you guys. So I'll always have a P.O. Box. Snap squad for life, girl. <laughs> I love that. I used to respond if you guys included a stamp, but I get too many now to, to like keep up with them all. Um, and my handwriting is so awful that I always send responses and I'm like, oh my gosh, so embarrassing. Like I'll send thank you notes and try to have good handwriting, but I'm not very good at handwriting at all. How many of your dogs react like this when you blow on them? I think it's like really common, like dogs don't like that. But Bernie kind of thinks it's a game. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Scaring him. Let's do it the Lily. <laughs> She's not gonna think it's playing. Brady thinks it's a game. You're scared. That, his heart's like racing. That really. Why does that scare them? 
Oh, poor Pie. Come here, Lily. And poor little Meatball's hiding back there, too. Ah. We like to get them all fired up before bed because it makes them really tired. So before we end this vlog for the night, um, I wanted to tell you guys how excited we are about our new series that we're doing together on my channel, my main channel, um, which is called uh, Trippy, Trippy Talk. Trippy Talk? Yeah, so what are your thoughts now that you did it, babe? Because Josh Talk. was really nervous. It's like, I mean, it's crazy. I always forget like... When I first did YouTube, I clearly did not know what I was doing. I wasn't as comfortable in front of a camera as I am now, so I can't expect Josh to just like yeah, exactly. be that used to it. No, I had a lot of fun doing it, and yeah. I look forward to what's You were like a natural, fun. I thought. Yeah, I think so. It I was think I good. could do a little better, but... I think you did a great know. job. From the feedback that you guys gave, though... Seemed positive. Seemed pretty good. So what topics are we thinking about doing? Dreams. Deja vu, dreaming. I'd like to do one on like wormholes. Yeah. Or black holes. Yeah. Like. There is a new Mandela effect and it's so crazy. It blew my mind last night. Okay. So sing to yourself on the 12 days of Christmas. What is it? How do you finish it? My true love gave to me. It's, it's not, not gave. gave. It's sent. It's no. sent. My true Look love sent to me. Yeah. And it, it like literally changed on like lyric websites and everywhere. It's so insane. So I want you to let me know in the comments if you thought it was gave or sent. <laughs> so sometimes Bernie just gets the hiccups. <laughs> sit, sit, sit. And look, look, he'll just... <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I, at first I was really nervous about it, but then a ton of you were like, no, that's a puppy thing, they do that. And then I asked our vet and he was like, yeah, that's just like a puppy thing or they'll be, what else did he say? He could be like, they were, they could be really itchy too, right? Yeah. yeah. He's like, that's also a puppy thing to be yeah, like too. super itchy. But that's it for us tonight. I think we are going to go watch Game of Thrones in bed and go to sleep. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow because we're going to take the dogs to Cheeseman Park, which is a really cool park in Denver. Are you excited? Yeah, we did. <laughs> all right, night guys. <laughs>